I'm Aaron Howlett. I write original Christian rock. I just make stuff up on the spot, put songs together pretty much out of thin air here. That said, I did come up with something a little bit last night, and I'm going to try and incorporate it, but it's a little bit much. I'll see. And I just put down some lyrics before I came out here because I was, you know, sitting around doing nothing. Uh, all right. I want to do this chromatic descent, maybe as an intro and maybe like a transition in the song. To an A and then B7. And then I'm going to start this riff. So that riff is actually D major, but it's like E Dorian. And then I'm going to actually start the song. This is going to be a lot. So I just tracked that monstrosity of a chord. Uh, or sorry, of a song structure. I put some markers at the top, which I don't normally do, but I was like, I just need some reminders or else I'm gonna get lost here. So. All right, I think I'm gonna add some stuff to thicken this up. I was kind of thinking about this. I've got a super long first verse and a weird intro. I might do some uh, lead guitar or guitar solo stuff there. And then I'll also do it when I get to what was a bridge part with like a weird Phrygian triplet thing in E minor. Okay, I just grabbed my bass. Um... I'm gonna mute some of this stuff so I can hear what the heck's going on. I need steady rhythm to compensate for the spazzy all over the place guitars. I think I got that bridge part lined up decently well with the weird off time triplets. It lines up with that first guitar, and as long as it does that, I'm good to go. <laughs> I just ran in to grab some water, hydrate. I do that. It's like a little mental break too, so it's a good thing to do. I had to restart because my <laughs> chair was actually hitting the mic stand. I got little wheels on it and it rolls around and I'm pretty sure just like the rocking back of me going bobbing around to the beat was going <laughs> up the mic stand. Dang it, I keep hitting that. That's done. I'm not going to do any more. No harmonies, no nothing, just verse and chorus, done. Like I said in the beginning, it's Christian rock, it's original, I just make stuff up and improvise, and that's how I throw my songs together. The lyrics are going to be at the bottom of the description box, I always put those down there. I put where you can find me online, purchase and stream my music in the middle of the description box. And the very top thing, since I said it's Christian rock, I have a link to the best Bible teaching I know of. I put that there because it's really good objective teaching that just analyzes the scripture from the original languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek from people that actually understand the languages and really translate. The people I'm referring to are the late Dr. Gene Scott, currently Pastor Scott. There is just a whole push there to get exactly what the book says in context, whole bar bird's eye view of everything and what it actually means, how it applies, rather than doing what most places do, which is just pass down traditions and baggage and nominational ideology. I don't know, just whatever you can name. So it's pretty much a breath of fresh air. Noticing that 
even while I'm, you know, watching their stuff on YouTube, I see recommendations below. It's just, it's just a bunch of absolutely insane nonsense. I'm like, you know what? If someone's looking around, you're not going to find anything good. <laughs> so check this out. It's actually decent stuff. So I just put it there as a resource. That's it. Uh, as far as my stuff, though, subscribe, like, comment, share. I keep writing music. That's another one down. This is a particularly long song. I usually like short songs, but, you know, whatever. Occasionally, it's fine. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Here comes the song. Thoughts, where we've sent in the